Midge, we kept going today. We dug in, got the two goals in the last 15 minutes. Was the key today being patient against a side who are obviously scrapping for the lives at the bottom? Well, yeah, when you when you get this end of the season, you know, especially teams that are that where they are, unfortunately, they're, they're going to be fighting every point and, and they'd have been happy with a point. You could tell the way they're set up, you know. Fair play to them, they had a game plan, they stuck to it. Thought they were really well coached, they looked really organised behind the ball. Frustrated us, made it difficult for us. But the message at half time was to be patient because when we got one, we knew we'd get two or three, um, especially with the quality we've got. And in the first half, it was a bit of a flat game overall, not many chances on either side. What was, was there any changes at half time in, in particular because we came out with a, a completely renewed vigour and a, a different attitude, really, and started creating a lot of chances? I think it was just a little bit of positioning in midfield, really. Um, tried to open up passing lines into the forward and try and get a runner from a bit deeper. And I think we got AJ in a couple of times down that side. Um, seemed to work, and I think we won a couple of set plays off, off that. And, and, you know, and in the end, pressure told, and, and we managed to get the, get the two goals and take the three points. And the first goal, Glenn's 25th of the season, came from a set piece. And we made it a bit of a common occurrence of scoring from corners. And I think it's something you work on in training. Is it pleasing to see the routines coming off in games? Um, it is, yeah, but it's down the lads. I don't take the corner or head the corner in. It's, it's, really, it's really about them, but they're, they're buying into our training. You know, we can only do what they want to do. If they, if they don't buy into it, it doesn't happen. So glad to get the routine right and glad to get Glenn another goal. He's flying. Like I said a couple of weeks ago, I think he's the best striker in the league. Uh, I'm not seeing one better. And, and long may his form continue for us. And Scott Harrison came in for his debut today. How do you feel he did? He had, he had a lot of time on the ball in the first half in particular. I think it was probably a good game to make your debut in as a centre half because you weren't going to defend for long periods of the game. It was more a better in period for him. And, you know, he showed good quality. He made a good few good passes out from the back for us. Started off attacks really well. And when he had to defend, he, he got his head in there and he made a couple of crucial tackles as well. Um, he's fit right in with the lads in training, so a, a good addition to the squad that will hopefully help us uh, in the coming weeks. And uh, a quick turnaround, altering one Tuesday night. It's, it's a tough place to go, altering when they're, they're heavily involved in the playoff battle, so it's going to be a tough one, that. Yeah, good football inside. I mean, I remember the game early in the season. Uh, they play a little bit like Man City, they bring the full backs in and they try and create little overloads centrally. Um, play really nice stuff. Different challenge from a day. They might try and keep the ball like we do rather than sitting and letting us have it. Um, really good side, but again, it'll be great for us if we can get another three points down there and, and keep this little hunt that we've got going on for promotion alive.